Before you hit the book now button on your next vacation, there's something you need to know. Not every country is a safe or welcoming place for Americans. In fact, in 2024, there are 11 countries where U.S. citizens face serious risks or flat-out hostility. You don't want to find yourself in the middle of a dangerous situation just because you weren't aware, right? Stick around because this list will save you a lot of trouble and possibly even your life. Trust me, you won't believe some of the countries on this list. But before we dive in, I've got a little favor to ask. Help us reach 30,000 likes on this video. Your support helps us bring you more travel tips and insights, and it really means a lot. So hit that like button if you want to stay safe and informed on your travels. Now let's jump into the 11 countries where Americans are just not welcome in 2024. And yes, you'll be surprised by a few of them. Let's start with a country that's basically off limits to Americans, North Korea. Since 2017, the U.S. government has banned its citizens from traveling there, and for a good reason. North Korea is one of the most secretive and controlled regimes in the world. Any American visiting North Korea faces the risk of arrest or detention for something as minor as a perceived insult to the regime. Even before the travel ban, Americans were under constant surveillance during their visits. Every movement was monitored, and breaking even the smallest rule could land you in hot water. But why the ban? Well, the U.S.-North Korea relationship has been tense for decades, with numerous diplomatic clashes and military threats. If you've been dreaming of seeing Pyongyang in person, it's time to scratch it off your list because North Korea is a no-go for Americans. Next up is Yemen, a country that's been in turmoil since 2015. Yemen is experiencing one of the world's worst humanitarian crises due to civil war, terrorism, and famine. It's not just unsafe, it's downright dangerous. The U.S. government strongly advises against all travel to Yemen. Americans who attempt to interface the very real threat of kidnapping, terrorism, and violent civil unrest. But why is it so risky? Yemen's ongoing conflict has created a breeding ground for extremist groups. And on top of that, there's a perception of U.S. involvement in the conflict, making American visitors a prime target for hostility. Even if you somehow manage to navigate the difficult visa process, you'd be walking into a war zone. So if you're an American thinking about Yemen, the message is clear. Don't go. Number three, Venezuela. Venezuela used to be a top destination for its beautiful beaches and rich culture, but that's no longer the case for Americans. Relations between the U.S. and Venezuela have been rocky for years, mainly due to political disputes and economic sanctions. The Venezuelan government views U.S. influence as hostile, and this has led to a tough visa process and plenty of suspicion towards American visitors. To make matters worse, Venezuela's ongoing economic crisis has led to widespread crime and instability. Travelers, especially Americans, are at risk of being caught in violent protests or even being targeted by criminals. The mistrust between the two countries makes it clear that this is not the time to explore Venezuela, no matter how tempting its natural beauty may be. Number 4. Syria Syria has been a war zone for over a decade now, and the situation remains dire. With ongoing civil war, terrorist groups, and U.S. military involvement, Syria is one of the most dangerous places on Earth for Americans. The U.S. government has issued the highest level of travel advisories against visiting Syria. Even if you somehow manage to get a visa, which is nearly impossible for Americans, you'd be stepping into an environment where foreigners, especially Americans, are viewed with suspicion or outright hostility. Between the bombings, kidnappings, and deteriorating infrastructure, visiting Syria in 2024 is simply not worth the risk. Number 5. Iraq The U.S.-led invasion of Iraq in 2003 set off a chain of events that continues to impact American travelers to this day. Although Iraq has made progress in certain areas, it remains a dangerous destination for U.S. citizens. Terrorism, crime, and political instability are daily concerns in many parts of the country. For Americans, the visa process is particularly grueling, and even if you get one, 
you're not out of the woods. Anti-American sentiment is still strong in some areas, and the risk of being caught in violent attacks remains high. While Iraq may have a rich history worth exploring, it's currently too risky for Americans to visit in 2024. Number 6. Myanmar Myanmar has faced turmoil since the 2021 military coup. The country is in the midst of a political and social crisis, with ongoing protests, civil unrest, and widespread violence. U.S. sanctions on Myanmar have further strained relations, making it increasingly difficult for Americans to secure visas. On top of that, the healthcare system is severely limited, and arbitrary law enforcement means Americans are at risk of being detained without clear reasons. Although Myanmar was once a hidden gem for travelers, it's now a high-risk destination that Americans should avoid. Number 7. Somalia Somalia is another country where Americans are not welcome, and for good reason. The nation has been plagued by violence and political instability for decades. The redeployment of U.S. troops in 2022 has only increased tensions, making Americans a target for terrorist groups operating within the country. The visa process for Somalia is almost impossible, and even if you make it in, the risks of kidnapping, terrorism, and violent crime are high. For Americans, visiting Somalia in 2024 is simply not worth the gamble. Number 8. Libya Libya has been in a state of chaos since the fall of Gaddafi in 2011, and things have only gotten worse for American travelers. The 2012 attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi was a major turning point in U.S.-Libya relations. Today, Americans face a hostile environment marked by terrorism, crime, and civil unrest. The visa process is extremely difficult, and once inside, Americans are at risk of being targeted due to lingering tensions. Traveling to Libya in 2024 is not only challenging but dangerous, especially for U.S. citizens. Number 9. Afghanistan Afghanistan remains a high-risk destination for Americans, especially after the U.S. withdrawal in 2021. The country is still plagued by terrorist activity, including groups like ISIS and the Taliban, which makes it incredibly unsafe for foreign visitors, particularly Americans. The chances of being kidnapped, attacked, or caught in a violent conflict are extremely high. The visa process for Afghanistan is also arduous. But even if you get one, you'd be entering a country with deep anti-American sentiment. Afghanistan should remain off your travel radar in 2024. Number 10. Iran Relations between the U.S. and Iran have been tense since the 1979 hostage crisis, and the situation hasn't improved much since. For Americans, traveling to Iran means risking arbitrary arrest, detention, and even terrorism. The visa process is long and complicated, especially for those with dual nationality. While Iran is a country rich in history and culture, the political environment remains hostile towards U.S. citizens. Any American thinking about traveling to Iran in 2024 should reconsider due to the significant risks involved. Lastly, we have Turkmenistan, one of the most isolated and secretive countries in the world. Although it doesn't have the open hostility of some other nations on this list, it's incredibly difficult for Americans to visit due to strict government control and an opaque visa process. Even if you manage to get a visa, you'll find yourself in a highly restricted environment where your movements are closely monitored. For most Americans, Turkmenistan simply isn't worth the effort or the risk in 2024. And there you have it, 11 countries where Americans are not welcome in 2024. Whether it's due to political tensions, safety concerns, or complicated visa processes, these nations are best avoided if you're a U.S. citizen. Remember, before traveling anywhere, always check the latest advisories and understand the risks. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for more travel tips and updates. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.